Hello and welcome to our Tiny Desk Gift Guide series where we will be having a short chat with ideas and tips to help you choose gifts and gifts for the artists and creatives on your list uh, that we think they'll love. So let's get started. Today we're going to start with um, the theme is kids and kids at heart. Yeah. So we uh, have a selection of things here. You might be surprised to know that we have a select amount of items for even toddlers. Uh, and we have, and the rest of these items are really good for all ages, but um, might be some nice choices for the younger uh, inspired creatives in your life that you're trying to get something a little bit nicer for. Or a little bit different. A little bit different. Yeah. Um, so when you come in looking for something for a child, we'll ask you a series of questions. Number one, how old are they? Number two, um, what are their interests? What have they tried? Have they worked with crayons or have they worked with markers? Have they tried painting? Um, so what supplies do you already have? Because as a parent myself, I'm very conscious of um, what supplies we're already using and what little things we can will enhance that experience and what will kind of just get shoved to the back of the drawer. So we want to try to fill out what you're already working with or provide an, uh, an alternative or something new. Um, so shall we start? Yeah, let's start. Okay. Um, I'm going to choose oh, one of my favorites, the Stockmar Wax Blocks. So these are really for the young. Um, they're in, instead of crayons, instead of starting with crayons, they are actually beeswax blocks. Um, you can kind of see it if I put it up there. So crayons in a rectangle block. Um, so that just the grip is a little easier and um, they're non-toxic, uh, delightful bright colors here uh, in, a, in a lovely tin. I personally think as an adult, uh, I would enjoy using these if I wanted to make marks with crayons just because they make a different kind of mark than a than a regular a round crayon. They're great for rubbings. They're great for rubbings, uh, yeah. And when they fall on the floor as often as crayons do, they don't break, which yeah. is, there's nothing wrong with broken crayons, but it's nice that it holds its shape. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So that's a really, really lovely gift for someone who's just learning to use their hands and manipulate and want to make marks. Mm -hmm. Um, I wanted to show you um, if you have a person that is interested in collage or is really interested in cutting and gluing, um, my little one is right now, uh, do use all of the paper from the recycling and old magazines and all kinds of things to, for practicing cutting and for making collages, but throwing in a couple sheets of chiogami is really fun as well. Last year we uh, we used chiogami and some of the Yamato starch paste, um, which we also this is this is for adults and for kids. We use yep. this at home. You can dilute it. It's like a toothpaste consistency. You can dilute it with a little bit of water and brush it on for glue. So it's great to use with littles, and it's water soluble. It washes out. It's non toxic. Um, and we pasted some of this chiogami onto wood discs to give out as gifts. Um, but it's a really fun fun way to just add a couple sheets, roll it up, and tuck it in a stocking, and then you can add it to your collage bin. Nice. We also have the uh, Crepa Junior Artist. Uh, Crepe Pass. Crepe Pass. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. I've been saying it wrong all this time. Uh, junior Artist Oil Pastels. They're very nice and bright, uh, pigment-heavy. Um, pastels uh, about the size of a crayon so not a not a different not big and thick like a, maybe a regular pastel uh, a full range really reasonable price of $4.95 um, and so a little bit different than a crayon or a pencil crayon if they've been using that just to give them some a different kind of textural experience and a different kind of color a different blending you can also if you rub if they're really enjoying this material you can also uh, include um, depending on the age toothpicks oh yes and like a plastic fork or like a, um, a rolled up piece of paper to to then scra uh, scratch away some of the material yeah, yeah. 
um, to go nicely with uh, those pastels and we also have markers. We have uh, our SMLT line of sketchbooks which you'll see at the front. They do um, like a student beginner range of products too and that's called their start line and they have like different different types of paper so this is like a natural craft paper which was would be really nice with those pastels yeah. they also have marker pads which would be great if you have an, um, somebody a little older who wants to work with the marker and on their and the illustrator they have style. larger sizes too larger yeah. sizes yeah this is just like the, the tinier size a black pad which can be really fun with chalk um, and then a standard drawing pad, which is great with everything. And these are all under $5. They're really nice quality, well-made, um, and just a little bit nicer than, than um, your dollar store pad. Uh, I'm going to talk about the Demco modeling clay. This is a non-drying uh, clay. Uh, great uh, bright colors um, with the primaries plus a green. Um, mixable, so you can make other colors. Uh, but the great thing about this is that you could think about this for um, a tween or teen if they're into stop, stop motion, motion, stop motion animation. <laughs> for some reason, I was going to say stop animation. Um, so you could get them some links to some how to stop animation, or maybe there's a book out there. Uh, and get them a pack of this and that's a great way to spend the holiday. And uh, you can also get a little shoe box either from a pair of shoes or from a dollar store and if you give them the clay and a shoe box and a link to how to make a stop motion, the shoe box on its side makes a really great frame to start yes. your, your project. So nice. then they have nice. all the things. Yeah, this is one of my faves. Um, I want to talk about brushes. So, um, I, uh, we have a whole range of brushes in the shop and we have also used dollar store brushes. Uh, we've used them all. I want to show you a couple options if you want to take a, a, a step away from the dollar store or the craft brand brushes. We have a couple options in store that will just last a little bit longer and will give uh, a nicer line, which if you have a painter, um, that's a nice experience while they're learning how to paint. So. This set is $4.95 and it comes with just three, two flats and a round. Uh, and I use this with my daughter at home with her watercolors and it, they keep their shape. Um, she likes that she can get really fine lines with them, which you can't do. You can't achieve with a, a cheaper brush. And then even nicer than that, um, we sell these for adults and for kids, but this is the Da Vinci Fit Synthetic line. And it's like they they design it as their school and hobby line. Really great quality, comes in at $9.95. Um, so a great brush option for watercolor, tempera, and acrylic. Yeah, and a great brush makes, makes a difference in the experience. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm gonna talk about the Emergency Pocket Pack more over here there we go up there uh, from JPP it's a little tiny pack that you can slip in your purse in case you have an origami emergency mm -hmm. but these are lo lovely little things to stick with a gift or you can put in a card and send um, and if you don't if the person doesn't do origami again it can be used like the chiagami sheets for cards or cut and paste or um, what have you and we have a, another uh, pack here that's a little thicker for those that need a little bit more in a different patterns. Uh, I want to talk to you about the Beam watercolor palette. So Beam, uh, you, can, you can purchase any of the Beam watercolors for kids. The, the whole line is ACMI certified, non-toxic, but uh, Anang and Beam Paints has come up with this really lovely children's palette that kind of looks like an oversized domino, which I really like. It's a nice size and shape. The wells are, are bigger than the original version, so nice for, for kids uh, and a nice palette. Um, and I would say this is good for, for a little bit of an, I mean, it's meant for all ages, yes, but yeah. with the size of the well, I'd say over five mm -hmm. might, might enjoy it a little bit better. Yeah. Uh, and I designed this palette with a nong specifically for articulations. This is our modular children's palette. So it's based on the colors that um, Anang uses in her own palette. But um, through teaching, uh, I, I really love the 
uh, option to separate and, and just focus on one color at a time makes the painting experience be more about the mark making and less about mixing colors, which are two different things um, with, with the early stages. And I like that there are blocks also, like they, they feel fun like a toy. Um, and easy and transportable. You can just throw one of these in the wax paper in your bag with a brush and a little uh, recycled yogurt cup and you have a little kit on the go. And there's a fair bit of paint in those ones. Mm -hmm. yeah. About the about two paint stones worth yeah. of paint. So yeah. there, there's a lot of paint in these. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I will talk about the Demco Tempera Gouache. Um, this is for those that uh, maybe have been um, coloring and using pencil crayon and maybe have moved on to a few markers uh, but haven't quite explored paint, this is a nice uh, paint that can you can put in little tiny containers or a palette, which we talked about earlier. Um, this is the fluorescent line. It comes in metallics and a primary set as well. Uh, not overwhelming in terms of the amount of paint, but some really nice pigmented uh, colors. They're also really fun to, when we have run youth programs, I have mixed those in with white painter gesso. Oh, nice. To create, um, it creates like a really, like a neon punchy uh, pastel-y ground. And, oh. that, and sometimes when we're painting with acrylic or a tempera paint with kids, it's nice to give them a colored wash before they get started. Nice. Instead of, instead of just starting on a white background. Um, I want to highlight our really lovely Faber-Castell pencil sets. So we have a couple nice um, pencil sets in the shop um, that are six pencils, uh, metal tin, and um, are a nice quality. And I just have such a great memory of being about 11 years old and being given my first really nice set of pencils in a metal tin. And um, how... It, I was at the stage and ready to care for my materials in a different way and it makes all the difference to have a nice quality pencil and to have a range of softnesses to play with at the same time. That can really be a, a starting point for exploring drawing uh, in, a, in a more expanded way. So a nice metal tin set of pencils and we, uh, the other thing we do in the shop, we have empty metal tins and we can also put together custom sets so you could choose a few graphite pencils, a few charcoal pencils and we do that quite regularly to make something tailored to what your maker is interested in. And we also have the um, dual brush Tombow pens. We have them in sets and uh, singles. These are, uh, uh, when they say dual, they um, have a brush end and a bullet uh, type tip end. So each, each end of the the marker can be used for mark making and both have lids. Um, they have wonderful palettes. This one happens to be their primary, but this is the per Perfect Blends palette here. This is a, a double set, um, but you can get a few individual ones to uh, add to a gift, of, like Heather was saying, a custom, a few markers, a few pencils, a sketchbook. These um, are, I find, a great option for um, Kids who, you know, are still drawing, um, but maybe have graduated beyond the colored pencil or want to explore a different medium. Um, they maybe have a sketchbook practice. Uh, just putting in a few markers or a marker set is a nice introduction. These are these have really nice transparent, bright colors. Mm -hmm. um, they also have a blender pen, right? Which I think some of the sets include, but we sell them in singles, yeah. and uh, they're they're a nice way to get really nice blends between colors which can be really fun to explore. Sure. Yeah, so just a new tool for maybe some artists around 11 to 13. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and they're a professional quality too so yeah. we those are there we sell them to adults yeah um, but that's a great starting point too yeah. if you want something a bit better than your Crayola markers. Yeah. A lot better. A lot better. <laughs> yeah. um, I'm just on the watercolor train. So this is another palette I have. This is the Angora Opaque Watercolor Palette. Um, and it comes in, we have it in three different sizes and a couple and a couple different tones. Yeah. Um, it's just a really 
like look at it already it's just a lovely range this is great for your desk so my daughter and I have our art desk set up side by side and this stays out in between them so that we can both use them I usually have a sheet of watercolor paper just out um, there's a lot of paint in these as well really really fun and uh, it doesn't break the bank so you really can let them just go at it and enjoy and explore different colors and what I like about this is like some some days are blue days and some days are pink days and they just there's a nice range here um, to, uh, to get them exploring the different it's very, combinations. It's very enticing. The colors are very enticing. Yeah. Yeah. I find even adults are like, ooh, great! I want to explore using this. Yeah. And this yeah. is at twenty two forty five, just to give you an idea. Yeah. And um, I think the last thing that I'm going to show you is just a tiny little uh, notebook. Um, it can be great for flip animation. Uh, Chiyogami notebook from the Japanese Paper Place in Toronto. Um, comes in, I just happen to have this design, but comes in many designs as does the Chiyogami paper. Uh, a nice little notebook for, for adult or, or youth. Um, I just always remember loving, uh, and I love little books yeah. that you can put in tiny places and these fit yeah. the bill. But they're, they're really great for uh, flipbook animation, so if you wanted to look up some links on that and, and maybe uh, and get one for that, it's... Uh, that, pair that with a pencil, pencil and an eraser. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's a nice little thoughtful gift. So those are just a few ideas we have for you and um, when and if you come in, we, we have more questions to ask, but the first thing we want to know is we want to get to know your maker to try to give ideas that spark growth. Yeah. Um, and uh, these are some of our favorites. Yeah, so thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for joining us. We'll be uh, popping on here a few times a week from November 15th to December the 10th. Uh, and if you want to get links to the other parts of the Tiny Gift Guide series, Tiny Desk Gift Guide series. Why uh, do we always come up with names? Why do I always <laughs> come up with long <laughs> rambling names? Uh, anyway, you can check our Instagram and our blog for links. Thanks, Thanks so much. Bye-bye.